Today we're going to be talking about something that has recently happened over at Bookstagram and has me just so heartbroken. And it is about the special editions redesign of the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J Maas. Something is happening with the society, with the fandom, and it, this needs to be addressed because I've read every Sarah J Maas book. I really like them. Her books have a special place in my heart because not only they got me back into fantasy but also helped me discover the fantasy romance subgenre that I am really liking from time to time and it just I feel that I've been part of this community and if you would have asked me before if I belong to this Sarah J Maas fandom I would probably would have said that yes in the sense of I really like her books usually and that all in all I enjoy her story. Now, what I'm seeing, what it's happening, and the reaction, the toxicity of this fandom, it just has me so heartbroken, so alienated about what is happening, and it is making me feel that we need to talk about this and that this is an opportunity for all of us to reflect about how we behave online and how you know, our actions are harming other people. So what happened? A few days ago, Fairy Loot revealed the cover art and a little bit of a sneak peek of the art that we will have within the books. And let me tell you, something terrible happened because not only a lot of people were disappointed about these different arts, but also they displayed such horrible behavior. And also Fairy Loot did not necessarily behave in the best way possible. I very much understand that there was a lot of high around this special edition of the Throne of Glass series. It's a very well-loved series. It has already had some special editions and honestly those editions were also gorgeous and it was really hard from the beginning to conceive that any design will have all fans happy. However, the reveal of the art generated so much backlash that the two main artists have both filled Ras, and honestly, it is so heartbreaking to see their reactions. In one hand, we have Michaela Alcaino, who is an amazing artist. She's so talented, and she is the artist of some covers that are absolutely outstanding. And you know, her craft has been proven time and time again. She worked on What the River Knows, A Starling House, Name of the Wind, The Adventures of Amina Al Tirafi, the amazing Game of Thrones covers that the Spanish edition now have. You know, the Night Circus, she is outstanding and her work, it just, it's very her and her art was, in my opinion, outstanding. Now, one of the main elements that was more discussed here is that her art of the edges was really similar to the one that a smaller business called Acrylipix made a little while ago in which a similar scene was depicted. There were two things here. The first one that in Michaela's art, there were some elements that were inaccurate. For example, the stack that in the books is white in here was depicted as brown and also the castle it's wood meanwhile in the books crystal the other thing is that the image was so similar and she was accused of plagiarism this is terrible because not only Michaela received the prompt from fairy loot and there is honestly not so many things that you can do with you know, one same scene in which you need to depict a certain element. And also she declared that she did not see that art before. Now for the stack and other elements that she said she interpreted, she said that she has made a formal request to Fairy Loot to make some changes here. So she did take that aspect that seems to be very important for the fandom and adjusted it. And now the thing here, it's not the discussion in itself. The thing here, it's the way in which these comments are displayed and just, you know, thrown to the artist. We, I won't be reading those comments because I just feel that it is just propagating hate speech, but the entitlement, the toxicity of these people that are just saying really bad things, that she doesn't know how to draw, that she is just straight up copying, that she hasn't read the books, that she doesn't know anything, and you know, she is receiving so much backlash, so much bullying. It is absolutely heartbreaking. She made an announcement saying that she felt 
aroused and you know that her community her instagram it's for love for kindness and that she's not receiving that and you know even then a lot of comments were like but what are you saying everyone it's kind no not a lot of people were kind a lot of people were asking her to say that she was sorry that she copied and just all in all saying that you know she made a mistake and if you think about this in reality we should be thinking about the company and the different people that accepted the art and also the people that it's been silent for some days now finally Fairlude has already said an announcement also saying that they support their artists but it just in my opinion this took too long and they allowed the artists to have this downfall to have this backlash where in my opinion it is on them to really accept and ensure that things are in the way in which they should. Now, sadly, we also had backlash with the art that we will have within this special edition. And in this case, we have, and I'm not sure I will say this name correctly, but Salom Todd-Lates um, also being really harassed. She has been making art of Sarah J Maas and she's been depicting Akotar. She's been depicted Throne of Glass for ages and she was picked because of this precisely and also the comments that she got were terrible were heartbreaking she got comments around she does not know how to draw her work it's lazy ai that you know she is not doing anything that she's the worst that her art it's bland it is so much worse than you can imagine like honestly so so sad and again in this case Fairy Loot said nothing for some days they tried to change the vibes sharing a pic of another staff which in this case was really inappropriate and probably they did not make this on purpose but it just felt so bad they posted a cap with the goose and there was a comment around the temper of the protagonist and it just it felt so so bad and an already very triggered fandom just took the opportunity to keep talking about you know how everything it's bad and things are just downhill and again so sad i particularly found salam announcement even more heartbreaking because you can see how she really took a very hard blow out of these in the sense of she is never going to do art for Sarah J Maas never again which I absolutely understand not for this community but also how she says that she will change her art that she's sorry that her art is not good and it just it is so sad like everyone has different opinions everyone can like what they like but just saying outright to a person in a very disrespectful way that her art it's bad that it's ugly and you know that she should improve it just it is wrong it is honestly wrong i'm sorry but no and in this case um well she is trying to move forward as well and again fairy loot is now supporting these two artists and thankfully we've been seeing some other authors and other artists supporting each other and there's also been a movement of people trying to support the artist and shaming the fandom the part of the fandom that it's being so hateful but the result is that in one hand a lot of artists are going away from the Sarah J Maas world which I absolutely can understand and honestly I, I think we kind of deserve these and maybe in the future we will be different but as things stand right now it is so difficult to do something and you know have a respectful audience and it just it makes me so thankful to see other fandom communities such as the Brandon Sanderson community to being so wholesome and I cannot imagine something happening like these with Sanderson on the Cosmere it just it makes me really grateful to be part of of that community and I just wish more people were like those communities. Finally, Fairlude has said that yes, they would do changes and I don't know when are we going to see the new versions of this book set, which is already really pricey. So I'm not sure what will happen, but I really believe the artists were done dirty here. They were allowed to take the downfall and that we need to stop uh, promoting this hateful speech to be so entitled about the art and really reflect on the work of these artists so hopefully if you're watching these you are able to feel the sadness and the heartbreaking situation that this is and you're able to feel for the artist but if not and if you feel that 
you know, things should be changed and that the opinion is more important and that things can be said in any way, um, then I'm so sorry, but I'm probably not going to be answering your comment if you leave something. So really, let's take advantage of our power to be change yourself this movement and be better, do better and, you know, just be a wholesome reading community. Please. Bye.